So that is how you automatically fill a form. Now you can go with further steps to this. So we could fill in our form like that. Let's click edit. But what if you wanted to do various things based on the responses that they've done? With this, where they have to read documentation, maybe you want to send them an email afterwards saying, well, you haven't read this documentation, so you need to do that. Here's where you do so. So you click new step, click control. I want to condition control. This is if, basically, if this, whatever's that. So if read x is equal to yes, then if yes, fine, well, don't do anything. If no, however, maybe we want to send an email. So type in Outlook, then click Office 365 Outlook. And the one that you want is send an email v2. You choose who it's going to. So in here, again, you can click your Add Dynamic Content. And you can actually put in the email address for this one's email. And you may also want to put in your department one. So my department one is Canvas. Okay. So I want to add that one in there as well. We then put in a subject and the body text. And what's great is you can actually start filling it in using the information that we've got. So dear, if we search for display name, so it's now going to put their name in. We can then click advanced options. We want the email to have come from us rather than from yourself as a person and now we can start adding potentially adding um, attachments if you wish to but for that you'd have to be going into SharePoint and getting things from there so that's now done and we want them to be able to reply to canvas at that well, so it goes back and you can even set the importance if you want to to be low normal or high And that's then set up so if they've read x and it's equal to yes nothing's happening it's equal to no then um, it's going to send an email out i'm then going to copy this whole section so i'm going to zoom back in again so you can see what i'm doing so i'm going to click here i'm going to click copy to my key, uh, clipboard i'm going to come down to the bottom here and add a new step over to the side here you have my clipboard, so I'm going to go for this condition control there. And it's added it in here. I'm going to remove read X and I'm going to change it to read Y. And then here I'm going to change it to have you read? Why with no and then that's one that's one done and then we do it again add new step my clipboard we want that condition one and we change it again this time to read z and you can always type in here if you want to skip to find it so there's our read z let's pop that one in so our email out and that's us done so let's click save now I'm going to hit test again. I'm going to use data from a previous run because I've already filled it in once and we should see that an email comes through to me. Just thinking about it. It's got the response. There we go. So it's failed on these two. What I'm going to do, instead of having it in the two box, let's put it in the CC box instead. There we go. Let's do the same in our next one. It doesn't always have issues with it, but sometimes it can cause problems. You could even put it in the uh, blind carbon copy if you want to as well. That is an option. So let's try this test. There we go, it's run successfully. And there's my email come through. I've actually got a Power Automate setup to tell me when I get emails come through as well through Teams. So 
that is how we set it up. And I hope that you find a lot of great, useful things from it.